Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Billy Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Software Packages Series. Right now, our topic for today is about the hands-on number two activity. Last time, we create this uh, setup folder coming from hands-on. So we can delete it right now, the folder hands-on. And uh, we can empty that recycle bin so that it will not accommodate the spaces. Now let's move to the setup folder and there goes the copy that uh, we do on our exercises. Now let's move on to beginner number two as our second activity. The topic we have right now in hands-on is what are the default of the Microsoft Excel as a spreadsheet in terms of icons, sizes, magnifying, uh, okay? So let's uh, move on and talk about this. So the first thing we're going to identify if you're going to the Microsoft Excel worksheet, you will notice that it is not visible yet because it is something like widen, okay, uh, font or sizes. So the first thing you're going to do, this is what you call zoom. So our zoom, the default is 100. So zoom magnification 100. So that is the default in terms of zoom. Next, in terms of view, normal view, page layout view, and the page break view. So the default is normal. So something like, if this is look like this, what you need to do is to go back to a normal. You can click this one to a normal view. So we have, uh, the default we have is three sheets. Okay, sheet 1, sheet 2, and sheet 3. Okay, that is the default. It is not 2, it is not 1, it is not 4. So we have 3 sheets as a default. Next, in terms of font name, we have Calibri as the default. Next, we have the font size. The default size is 11 of the font. The alignment, okay, so we have uh, the top align. So we have the middle align and the bottom align. The default in alignment is the bottom align. Right here, we have here set of content of alignment. So we have the left alignment, the center, and the right align. And the default is left align. Another is the default in terms of uh, fill right here. So the default of uh, fill is considered to be white and the default of uh, text is considered to be automatic right here so it is considered to be black next the default of orientation if you're going to click right here if you're going to make the orientation horizontal so it is not merge every cell is not merge all of them are not merge another idea is the default in terms of number is general so I think uh, that talks about all the default so just in case the data is not visibly clear so you can go to our zoom for magnification you can click 200 so that you can see what we're talking about the the other part of the discussion on this uh, activity is that how we're going to input data right here and it moves to its uh, default location so the first thing you're going to identify is that in every cell and that is the active cell that is the only thing you're going to input any text any number or any alphanumeric or sign and symbol that is the idea so uh, you cannot go to other cell unless it is considered to be active cell that's the idea so every time you go or move, there is a what you call active cell. So you can use your mouse and you can click identify the column and the row of the uh, cell. Now right here, we have daily inventory. If I'm going to type an uh, addition to the description budget, so I'm going to click below of the column A and 10. So we're going to type budget and uh, comma and the uh, resins that's it you need to identify also that every time you type in the cell it is been shown also in the formula bar right here so everything you type it must be shown on the formula bar 
every time you click on the data or text it goes also divisible to formula bar another is that once you click the active cell okay it will give the coordinates of a column and a row and this column is a and the row is 10 and it will display on the name box right here so this is the name box so a10 so it means to say the a10 is the active cell of all those cells and after you're finished typing you will notice that there is a what you call a blinking cursor and i call that insertion point it is called insertion point because you can type from the keyboard any numbers any letters or sign and symbols that's why it's called insertion point and after you're finished you can press enter and it will go down once to the other cell that's the idea a11 is right now on the name back which is a column a and 11 rows and this is considered to be the new active cell in terms of uh, number what you need to type is something like you can press any numbers okay point uh, 45 for example or to make it new let's move into point 40 so you will notice that once you type it goes directly to the default which is the left or the area on the active cell if you're going to press enter you will notice that okay it goes to the right rather than to the left now that is the difference between typing a number and typing an alphabet every time you type a number it is considered to be a number from the left going to the right it goes to the right because of the computation but if you're going to type a character like uh, pup if you're going to press enter it will be on the same position it will take okay because this is a character now in microsoft excel there is a big difference of typing a number and an alphabet or a word that is the idea so how about typing up a dollar sign or a peso sign so in typing a dollar sign since we have on the keyboard you can uh, press shift and you can press the dollar sign on the keyboard and afterwards you can type a number for example 2.75 then you can press enter and you will notice if it is a number it goes directly to the right because it could be possible that this number or those number will be computed that is the idea now just in case you wanted to be uh, that the dollar sign is not uh, indicated once you press that right here you will notice also that there is what you call dollar sign button in the in the currency so let's check it out so we have 5.05 or 15 press enter so look at that there is uh, what you call the dollar format and uh, to make an space okay while you are typing like this one there's an space and that is considered to be one row and this is considered to be two rows so what you need if you have those data you want to have a space then you can type uh, on the other part of the row like this one you can type right here schedule comma persons so press enter that's the idea of how to put the uh, spaces okay through rows even in columns if you want to type right here so let's set the, the sum okay then press enter so you have column space that is the idea that's all for today by the way thank you for watching and good luck